Hey everyone, welcome, welcome back here to my channel where I play Pansu. My name is Nisa and today we are looking at the Asian flu what quail? Quail, I think it's a quail. Uh, mud and it's made by Loper, which is one of these models I actually recently have looked up something by, but I haven't really looked enough uh, at enough of his or hers mods to really get a feeling about them. Um, so I'm quite intrigued. Um, as you can see here on the picture below, it is this kind of little bird. Uh, I actually think it's a flightless bird. However, I'm not completely sure about that. It has this beautiful brownish uh, multicolors wings on the top that have this brown, orange, whitish, uh, blackish, grayish coloration scheme going on. And then the blue on the bottom of the upper face uh, going down the side and then uh, on the belly side. And then this white and black coloration uh, under the beak. Quite cute, but it's also quite small, which I actually wasn't prepared for. So let's get in here. And this is the meal. <laughs> And this is as far I can zoom in on him. I can maybe move him up in the sun here so we can get just a little bit of a better look at him. Um, it's quite suspicious. Uh, uh, but again, very, very small. You can see we have the emu here in the bag, much, much bigger. Um, uh, so it's really difficult to actually get a good feel of it, but this is the meal. The one thing I will say is that if your reason for getting this mod is that you like the male, um, the female looks quite different. We have her over here. Um, so it's just if you only want that coloration, then you may have a few issues because as it is sometimes with the birds, the male just have a more a more pop of color uh, going on compared to the female. Um, these are least concerned animals and their population is the one is unknown because they are a domesticated species. Uh, also known as blue-breasted quill, king quill, Chinese painted quill, or Chung Chi. I probably didn't pronounce that right, so I'm sorry. Uh, uh, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, it, it's a pheasant. Or, or in the pheasant family. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> here we can see. Oh, I jumped on here. They, they are from Asia or, and Australia. So that will be China, Taiwan, Australia, Papua New Guinea. India, Brunei, Cambodia, Indonesia, Laos, Malaysia, Myanmar, Nepal, Philippines, Singapore, Sri Lanka, Thailand, Timor Leste, uh, and Vietnam. Uh, within the temperate and grassland biomes, and one of them needs uh, 50 square meters of land. It is actually a lot compared to the size of this bird, but for just building a habitat in Plan 2, 50 square meters is not a lot. Um, they live in places from 3 to 45 degrees Celsius, and you only need one, a grade 1 fence above 1 meter, so that should be fairly easy to uh, make an enclosure for them. Uh, here, the issue, if you really want that pop of color the male have, you will only have one male if you want mixed ratio and up to 14 females. Um, just I'm just going to check here. I know the babies will also need some space. 120 square meters for 15 of these full group. i just going to check. How big is this habitat? Okay, this is much much bigger <laughs> this that is much much bigger this is 1500 um so yeah there's clearly a different 
Uh, yeah, sorry guys, I'm just getting my coffee here. So I can be a little, wake, wake a little more up and get some warm. That's 99% of why you would drink hot things. It's just so our hands can get warm. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Anyway, uh, the male is the dominant partner and they are polygamous. Yeah, that word never sound right to me. Promiscuous, I understand. It just won't be pronounced by me, apparently. Uh, they are matrilineal. Uh, mature males related to alpha becomes the outsider, meaning the female should be a right. Um, they are neutral around humans and guess can into the habitat. They grow to about 20 centimeters long. <laughs> and um, that is two thirds of a foot. I'm not sure how the inch to foot ratio is. So, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, they live for around six years and weigh around 50 grams. Yeah, I don't know either how that translates to, to ounces, but I think it's a little less than a pound. Uh, reach sexual maturity at the age of one year old and can reproduce till they die. They will give between three and six offspring a year and be pregnant for one month. This should be very easy to get to reproduce in captivity. And we have the standard bird enrichment, herbs and marga, mirror mobile, sprinkler, and for food we have uh, the slow feeder. Actually, I would like the forage box, but since they are so small and we only have 15 of them, maybe not, I'm not sure, but I just think like this would be a good animal to see go and like digging in that. No interspecies enrichment. Yay. I will see, say that something we often see with really, really small animals in Plant Zoo is that the babies are really, really big. Uh, they are a little big compared to the adult, um, but it's still in a realistic manner. They are still really clearly the babies over here and the mama over here. Um, so it's not in a manner where anyone will get confused, and I'm really happy about it. The babies do also have this texture that makes them a little more fluffy looking. Oh, I really like this feather texture here. It's really good. Again, feathers and planet suit doesn't always work, and we all can also see that it kind of... We have some feather like here, and then some feather like here. Um... I'm not sure how old these would be at this size. I'm not sure if they would be fully feathered or if they would have those baby feathers that I'm not sure. I have Google Translate or down. Is that right? It's this is down. The thing we use in pillowcases. Um so yeah, the claws actually looks really good and you can clearly see that little goofy face of it. So yeah, really, really nice looking. Here. Just to turn you around a little and once again, this is the female. She still have a little color, for instance, she has the red eyes and she has this brown going on here and here. We also have a nice texture. Uh, once again, <laughs> not fur. But there's, uh, it kind of is funny the way they are placed, but I think that may have something to do with the wing on the rig. I'm not sure. Some of these mothers have actually on bird much uh, decided to remove the wing from the rig. Uh, because they just gave issues with some animations uh, and some of them uh, used them and honestly I can only tell you which this one is if they actually make an animation where you would see the wing. Um, overall they look really 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 good. The legs... What does the ground do? 
Sorry, I haven't noticed that before. Um, the legs here looks really good. It's as good. Again, bird legs in Thailand Zoo for all the mutts and all the animals from Frontier are really standardized. So it's hard to say anything specific around that. We have this little shine to it, which I really like. And we do not have tail feathers here. Again, a lot of birds will have these flashy tail feathers. We do not have them here. Uh, once again, if we just want to end on the male, I think he was down here. Yeah, I think he's the same size as the females. We can just let him get up here. Yeah, it's roughly the same size. They look good most of the time. Again, if you mind the glitching, maybe my computer said may not have it on yours. That's hard to tell. Um... But besides the coloration, it doesn't seem to have any difference between male and female. So, uh, yeah. I think we're gonna end it here, guys. Because I just found my uh, thumbnail. <laughs> I just recorded one for uh, Atlas Tortoise. And I just did the same. Like, I found a thumbnail. We need to pause it here. But I also think I have talked about everything I needed to say. So, guys. As always, you know the drill, like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again, either in the comments below or in the next video. Bye, guys.